Hello everyone, today we will compare Squarespace and Hostinger, two of the most popular website hosting platforms in the world. So Squarespace is known for its user-friendly interface and elegant templates, making it a great choice for creative and small businesses looking to create a polished website without needing coding skills. And on the other hand, Hostinger offers affordable hosting solutions with a focus on speed and reliability, making it a favorite among budget-conscious users and developers. So in this comparison, we'll dive deep into their features, pricing, performance, customer support, security and privacy, pros and cons, and at the end of the video, I help you choose which one is the best for you. So make sure you watch till the end because I have created a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option. And if you want to sign up for Squarespace and Hostinger, you can use my affiliate links in the description below where I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And you might also get rewards and discounts upon signing up. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now let's discuss the features comparison. As you can see when it comes to ease of use, Squarespace is a user-friendly with drag and drop function while Hostinger is intuitive website and easy to set up. When it comes to templates and design, Squarespace is professional with high quality templates while Hostinger has customizable templates. When it comes to domain name, you can get domain names on Squarespace with annual plan only while on Hostingers, you can get it free on premium plans. So you need to purchase premium plans. So let's go to another features which is SEO tools. When it comes to Squarespace, they have a built-in SEO features while Hostingers, they use plugins for SEO access. So when it comes to site analytics, uh, Squarespace have comprehensive analytic tools while Hostinger have basic analytics tools available. When it comes to marketing tools, Squarespace integrated marketing tools and extension while Hostingers has marketing tools available through plugins also. So another features which is a e-commerce features, Squarespace have advanced e-commerce features while Hostingers has e-commerce support and it varies by plan. When it comes to hosting, Squarespace has fully managed hosting while Hostingers has shared cloud BPS hosting options. When it comes to content management, Squarespace again has a built-in content management to their system while Hostingers has WordPress and other CMS options. So that's it for the features. Now let's go to the pricing. And as you can see when it comes to pricing, they have a very different type of pricing. So let's start with the Squarespace. When it comes to pre-trial, they have one. They have available in their platform. And when it comes to entry-level subscription, they have one which is $18 per month if billed annually. So when it comes to business uh, subscription, they have it and they offer it for $26 per month billed annually. So when it comes to commerce plans, the highest plan, they have it and it's it will start at $27 per month or more if billed annually. So that's it for the Squarespace. Now let's go to Hostinger. As you can see, when it comes to free trial, they don't have it. And when it comes to entry level, they have it only for uh, almost $3 per month. And if you want to have a VPS hosting features in your website host uh, page, you can add more of $7.99 per month on your uh, subscription to get that feature. Same thing with the uh, cloud hosting. If you want to add this in your feature, you can add more, most of uh, $10 per month mostly so that you can, you know, get this feature. So that's it for their pricing. So they are very different com to compare. <laughs> So now let's go directly to another discussion which is performance and as you can see when it comes to ease of use, Squarespace has a score of 8.8 .8 out of 10 which is good while Hostingers has it for 9 out of 10 which is slightly better than Squarespace. When it comes to quality of support, Squarespace is 8.5 out of 10 while Hostingers is 8.7 out of 10. Slightly better again and when it comes to product direction, Squarespace is 8.3% positive while Hostinger is 8.7% positive. And when it comes to hosting uptime, Squarespace doesn't specify it in their website while Hostinger has 99% uptime guaranteed. So yeah, it's very good. And when it comes to another uh, performance, which is the uh, site analytics, Squarespace is 7.9 out of 10 while Hostinger is 7.5 out of 10. So Squarespace is slightly better. When it comes to e-commerce features, Squarespace is 8.1 out of 10 while Hustinger has a score of 7.9 out of 10. And Squarespace a little bit better again. And lastly, when it comes to content management, Squarespace is 8.6 out of 10 while Hustinger is 
0.1 out of 10. So that's it for the performance comparison. Now let's go directly to the customer and support comparison. And as you can see, both of them when it comes to live chat have a 24 per 7 availability. And same thing with email support, they are 24 7 available. And when it comes to phone support, Squarespace is available on Monday to Friday, 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. EST, while Hostinger is available on Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. EST. When it comes to knowledge base, uh, Squarespace has extensive online guides and tutorial on their website, while Hostinger has a knowledge base also and tutorials on their website. When it comes to community forums, Squarespace have a active community forums, while Hostinger doesn't have any community forms activated so yeah that's it so now let's go directly to the security and privacy and as you can see when it comes to ssl certificate both platforms has free ssl certificate included in their website while uh, when it comes to ddos protection squarespace have advanced ddos protection while hustlingers has basic ddos protection so when it comes to data centers squarespace have global data centers with robust security while customers has multiple data centers worldwide. When it comes to privacy policy, Squarespace is very comprehensive and privacy policy while customers have detailed privacy policy. So that's their difference. So when it comes to two-factor authentication, both platforms have it. They are available for account security. And when it comes to backups, uh, Squarespace have daily backups while customers have weekly or daily backups and it depends on the plan that you choose. And when it comes to server monitoring, both platforms has 24-7 server monitoring. And yeah, same thing with uh, Firewall. They both have web application Firewall available in their uh, platform. And yeah, that's it. And now we're done comparing their features, pricing, and security, privacy, customer support. Now let's go directly to the pros and cons. And first, let's discuss the Squarespace pros and cons. And when it comes to pros, Squarespace is a user-friendly interface with drag and drop features. They have high quality professional templates and site animation. They are they have integrated marketing tools and built-in features for businesses. They have excellent customer service with support for complex requests. And that's it. So when it comes to cons, uh, Squarespace, some features may be missing or hard to find in templated pages. And undoing mistakes can be cumbersome, sometimes requiring redoing large sections. So that's very unfortunate. So now let's go to the Hostingers pros. So Hostingers have a affordable pricing models for SSL and domain features and their hosting is very easy to set up and very uh, reliable. So and also they are quick and efficient when it comes to customer support and yeah that's it for the pros. And when it comes to cons, some users find the service upgrade process confusing and also the higher tier plans can be costly for beginners in the blogging industry. So now we're done discussing the pros and cons and what's left is discussing which platform is best suited for you. And let's start by discussing who should choose Squarespace. So Squarespace is referable for businesses looking for an all-in-one solution with hosting, domain and design in one place. And it's perfect for users who prioritize high-quality professional design templates. And it's perfect for those who need integrated marketing tools and built-in features for e-commerce. And it's perfect for individuals who prefer a user-friendly interface with drag-and-drop functionality. And also for creators who value 24-7 customer support and comprehensive analytic tools. So if you have all of these qualities, I recommend that you choose Squarespace over Hostinger. And let's discuss who should choose Hostinger. So Hostinger is perfect for users seeking an affordable web hosting solution with variety of hosting options. For beginners who need an easy-to-use platform with clear instruction and user-friendly control panel. And for those who require a flexible service that can scale with their growing website needs. For customers who want a custom built-in panel with advanced features. And lastly, for website owners who might want to bring in a web development team to fine-tune a simple site setup. So if you have all of these uh, qualities, I recommend you to go for Hostingers rather than Squarespace. So now we're done. So in conclusion, both Squarespace and Hostingers offer unique features that cater to different needs. Squarespace shines with its all-in-one platform, making it ideal for those who value design and ease of use, while Hostinger stands out for its affordability and flexibility, perfect for those on budget or requiring more technical control. So remember, the best choice depends on your specific requirements, whether it's a for a personal blog, 
a business website or an online store, we encourage you to weigh the pros and cons, consider the features, and choose the platform that aligns with your goals. So with that being said, the comparison is over. The only question left is, what platform will you choose? That's it for this video. See you in the next one.